This Week in the Catholic Star Herald Eucharistic Revival The U.S. Catholic Church's three-year Eucharistic Revival about to get underway is an effort to remind, reteach, and reinvigorate faith in the Eucharist, says Father Robert Hughes, Vicar General and Moderator of the Curia for the Diocese. In the Diocese of Camden, the Eucharistic Revival will kick off June 18th with a candlelight procession with the Blessed Sacrament on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. Beginning at 8 p.m. at the Boardwalk in Tennessee Avenue, Bishop Dennis Sullivan will lead nearly a 1,000 faithful from across the diocese in a three-quarter mile procession to Kennedy Plaza. Along the way, there will be two stops, each an opportunity for Eucharistic adoration as well as short liturgies that reinforce the belief in the Eucharist. At Kennedy Plaza, Bishop Sullivan will lead benediction and provide an exoneration on the words of Jesus in the Gospel of John, My flesh for the life of the world. Racial Harmony Four speakers gave witness testimony during the Multicultural Concert for Peace and Racial Harmony held May 22nd in St. Charles Barmeo Church, Sicklerville. More than 100 faithful from around the diocese gathered for the bilingual event, which was sponsored by the Diocesan Racial Justice Commission, in coordination with the Secretariat for Evangelization and Hispanic Ministries. After each talk, choirs from throughout the diocese representing different cultures performed. Senior Prom. The Diocesan Vitality Catholic Healthcare Services sponsored a senior prom May 19th to party and rejoice in our ministry. The prom was held for those in parish-based senior ministry programs throughout the diocese. With more than 100 seniors present for an afternoon of music, food, socialization, and prizes, a DJ spun hits ranging from Sinatra to Shakira, with the electric slide in between. Fun and camaraderie were among the event's goals, said Deacon Jerry Jablonowski, Vitality's executive director. The prom, he said, was a celebration and thanksgiving for the joy of aging with healthy minds, bodies, and spirits. For these stories and others, visit catholicstarherald.org. I'm Dave Hernandez for the Catholic Star Herald.